Guys, so today I'm gonna to teach you how to make the perfect cappuccino with your Nespresso machine. Also, side note, I don't have one of those um, little milk steamer things. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to froth your milk without one of those. All right, guys, let's go make some coffee. All right, here is the Nespresso machine. She's brand new, I cannot wait to try her out. We're gonna plug her in really quick. All right, we're gonna slide the lever to the right to open the machine, and we're gonna grab our pod. I'm using the Starbucks pod. By the way, I would completely recommend the Nespresso pods themselves. They're so much better. To lock, we're gonna make sure we slide it all the way to the left until it clicks. That means it is secure in place. And then we're gonna put our glass mug right there under the spout and then press start. And there she is, she is filling up. Something about just brewing Nespresso just makes the coffee itself look so appetizing. And here's how we're gonna make our foam without the machine. We're gonna take a pot and turn the oven on medium high. This is our creamer that we actually put in after the almond milk. This is gonna give it its sweetness and flavor. I'm using the Chobani vanilla. I put this almond milk in before, but for some reason my clip did not record. I want a mixture of creamer and almond milk so that way it's not as thick and I'm not getting as much sugar and carbs with just the creamer. And when the milk starts steaming like this, that means it's ready to be throthed. So we're gonna take our hand frother, turn the oven off first, of course, and then we're gonna start throthing it very carefully. It was splattering everywhere. I was actually containing it a little better by just pulsing the throther. There are easier ways to do this. I could have easily put it in a taller glass, but I just did not wanna take the extra step. I'd rather make a mess. Right when she's looking nice and fluffy, we're gonna pour it into the glass. This looks absolutely delicious. I'm so excited. All right, guys, here we have it. This looks absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to try her. Let's taste test. Cheers. Mm. That is amazing. She's so good. Obviously, you can switch up the recipe, your choice of milk whether you want oat milk, regular milk, whatever you prefer, it's all gonna taste pretty similar. I know people also use the syrups as well. You can get um, like syrups, like Monin syrups from like Amazon. Um, those would be good in it as well. This is just my personal recipe and I suggest you try it. All right guys, and happy coffee drinking and cheers. Happy Wednesday, have a great day. Thanks for watching.